Uh, good morning, Jason Sen from DayTradeIdeas.com. We've been following silver this week, so um, today's the last day. We'll be looking at silver for uh, for now. We'll move on to another commodity next week. Um, it's got quite oversold on the daily chart, and therefore, for the last three days, we've really just gone sideways. Um, starting to wonder if we can get some sort of rally going. Um, previous low in October was uh, 2051. Uh, the low for November is 2045 so we've got some sort of double bottom if you like not not a particularly important one because we're certainly not at the end of any steep trend so but there is still a chance we can um, create some sort of recovery um, and uh, unwind this oversold uh, stochastic on the daily chart um, 2090s held you can see we've got a bit of a fib level there 2086 so 2090 has been a struggle that's obviously where we've got to get through today if we're going to build any sort of recovery into next week um, if we can get through there, you can see this trend line that goes back to the 28th of June. Well, that's our next major obstacle, which comes in today at around 2120. So 2121, sorry, 2120 to 2125 is going to be a real problem today, and I don't see us getting through there if we manage to build any sort of rally and get through um, 2090. Um, in fact, that could be as far as we go for this rally uh, at all if we manage to, to creep up to that sort of 2120 to 2125 area next week. Just be aware that if we do get through there, we're going to have to tackle the 100-day um, moving average 2150. So really only a close above 2150 next week is going to turn the outlook more bullish. Um, until then, we're just going to be hoping for some sort of bounce in a in a bear trend. Um, uh, of course, we are in a bear trend, so a break lower is never going to be a huge surprise. We've got to watch that 2045 area. If we break lower, um, as I say, won't be a big surprise, uh, even though we're oversold. Uh, being oversold is never a reason just to try alongs. Uh, so watch that. And if we break lower today, we're going to be heading pretty much for these two trend lines that intersect around the 2025 area. But I would say that's good support at this stage, and we should at least hold there, bearing in mind how oversold we are. Okay, that's our look at silver. Uh, that looks that ends uh, for this week. We'll move on to another commodity next week. Thanks very much. I'm Jason Sen from DayTradeIdeas.com.